It's Bath Bomb Week at Simply Earth, and I'm here with a new bath bomb recipe, and it's gonna be an explosion. Hi, I'm Katie, co-founder of Simply Earth, an essential oil company that teaches you how to use essential oils and sells them at an honest price, and I love teaching people how to use essential oils, and today we are making a volcano bath bomb. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a half cup of cornstarch, a half cup of baking soda, a tablespoon of Epsom salts, a quarter cup of citric acid, a tablespoon of almond oil, six drops of lava essential oil blend from Simply Earth. We're going to be using two dashes of fuchsia mica powder and one dash of mocha mica powder. Let's get started. I'm first going to be getting a tablespoon of Epsom salts. And to this, I'm going to add a dash of fuchsia mica powder. This is gonna make up our lava. I'm gonna stir it up. If you want a more bright, vibrant color, you can add a little bit more mica powder to the salt until you get your desired lava color. All right, I'm gonna set this aside to use later. Next, I'm going to push the baking soda through a sieve to remove clumps. Now I'm going to add a dash of mica powder to my baking soda. Baking soda is absorbent, so it's going to help attach to the mica powder to evenly disperse it throughout our mixture. I'm going to whisk this together. If you want a darker color, this is going to be like the base of our volcano, you can add more mica powder. This is looking like a pretty good volcano color. All right, now I'm gonna set this aside. I'm now gonna mix my oils together. I've got a quarter teaspoon of emulsifying wax. This is gonna help prevent mica rings around our bathtub. So little, sometimes bath bombs leave rings of colors around your bathtub. This will help prevent that. I'm also going to be adding a tablespoon of almond oil to dilute our essential oils and help hold our bath bomb together. I'm gonna go melt this using a short interval in the microwave. You can also melt it in a double blender. I'm now going to be adding six drops of lava essential oil blend, which is a citrusy and uplifting blend that smells so good. I'm gonna stir this and make sure the essential oil is actually diluted and not just floating on top of the oils. In a second, I'm going to add these oil mixtures. I'm gonna add the oils to my baking soda mixture, but first I'm going to add the cornstarch. And stir that in. Now I'm gonna mix this by hand until it's nice and evenly combined. I'm gonna squeeze it and see if it holds its shape. It's quite dry. So I'm gonna add some isopropyl alcohol to get it to the right consistency. All right, now if I squeeze it in my hand, it holds its shape. That's looking good. Now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of citric acid. Now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of citric acid. This is what's gonna cause the fizzing reaction when the bath bomb hits the water. This along with the baking soda is gonna to react to create some fun fizz. And the emulsifying wax is gonna add some really fun foam. All right, I'm gonna recheck the mixture, make sure I'm still at the right consistency. It's looking good. And now I'm gonna get that colorful Epsom salt and make my bath bombs. For these bath bombs, I'm actually only going to use half a mold, so it looks more like a volcano. And I'm going to spoon just a little bit, about a half teaspoon or so, of this colorful Epsom salt into my bath bomb. And now I'm gonna fill it the rest of the way with our volcano powder, our volcanic ash. I'm gonna press it really firmly into this half of the bath bomb mold, and then I'm going to kind of tap the top to help it come out. And there you have a super cute little volcano. 
And we're gonna do this four more times. So we've got four little volcanoes, but to make them look more like they've erupted, what we're gonna do is add a little mica powder, some fuchsia mica powder to a bowl, or a similar color of mica powder. And then we're gonna add some rubbing alcohol to it. 99% works best because other kinds of rubbing alcohol will react with the baking soda and citric acid and cause the bath bomb to erupt. And with my paintbrush, I'm going to hold it over the volcanoes and splatter some of this onto it. So I have some of this mica powder and rubbing alcohol on my paintbrush, and then I'm just tapping my finger to make it splatter onto it. And if you want to make your volcano look like it's really got lava, you can pour some onto it. Like this. I hope you try out this fun recipe. They look really cool when you put them in the tub. All of a sudden there's a bright pink splat where the lava is and I think you'll have a lot of fun putting these in the tub. If you make this recipe, let us know how it goes in the comments. Make sure to check out our other recipes, which are linked in the description box and the cheat sheet we made for this recipe, which you can find in the description box below. Thanks for watching.